All right, everybody, welcome back to the World Coffee and Good Spirits Championship 2022 here in Milan. And we can see the judges are ready. They're already smiling, coming on the stage. Please give a huge round of applause for our judges. Yes. It is a hard job to taste all these drinks. Hi. Hi. It is. And now we'd like to welcome to the stage our next okay. competitor, representing Bewley's in Ireland. We have Philippe Flores. Oh. <laughs> Good luck, Philippe. Good luck. Can you hear me? Yeah? Are you ready? The audience ready? <laughs> All right, so uh, time. Hello and welcome, judges. I'm Felipe Abrese from Beerleys in Dublin, Ireland, and it's my pleasure to be competing for the first time at the World's Cup in Good Spirits. Today, I'm going to take you on a journey through the Brazilian Carnival. For this experience to be a little bit more immersive, I brought, I brought these little masks here for you, and then you can turn them around, and the menu is right behind it, so you can check it during or after the presentation, you can keep that for you. Now, the coffee I'm going to be using today is the El Diviso from the Huila region in Colombia. So it's a pink bourbon varietal, naturally processed, so it's fermented anaerobically for 80 hours. It's extended fermentation there, and this is amazing. So judges, if you want to lift the lids there of the containers in front of you and inhale the amazing aroma of mango, cognac, and carcara. Now, I'm gonna start brewing the coffee for my second course, which is my hot beverage. My hot beverage is called the Hot Capeta. I'll tell you more about the drink shortly. So the recipe I'm gonna be brewing today is 35 grams of coffee, 300 milliliters of water at 96 degrees, and I'm gonna brew that for six minutes. So I'm going to be using the Clever Draper here. It's amazing to extract all of the potential of the coffee. It has a super juicy, aromatic, and full body cup, which is perfect for my capeta. I'm going to be mixing it with a spoon at the same time to increase the strength of my brew. This brew will have taste notes of ripe mango, cognac, cotton candy grapes, uh, with a long lasting aftertaste of dark chocolate. Now while that brews, I'm gonna start making my first course, which is my caipirinha, my twist on the national Brazilian cocktail, caipirinha. For this uh, course, I'm gonna be using an espresso instead of a filter coffee. And my recipe is 20 grams in and 40 grams out. This espresso will have taste notes of sweet mango, cognac, pink grapefruit, with a long lasting aftertaste of cascara. Now, Carnival is a week long celebration that ends a day before the beginning of Lent. Uh, and when I say celebration, I mean celebration. It's an explosion of tropical flavors, colors, and dances. So please, judges, don't be afraid of dancing right now. Audience as well. Now, I'm gonna be chilling my espresso using a hyper chiller to avoid dilution, any further dilution when in touch with ice. And I'm just gonna keep it down here for me. Now, for the spirits. I'm gonna start with this beautiful Moongate Irish gin. So this is a really special limited edition. Uh, it's from Mount Juliet State and has lovely uh, taste notes of aniseed and licorice. So I'm gonna put 40 milliliters of that now. I'm also adding now 10 milliliters of this beautiful cachaça German umbrella because you can't make a coffee without cachaça. 
So I'm going to be using 10 milliliters of this. This has lovely taste notes of tropical fruits, tonka beans, and bison grass. I'm using this amazing melado. Melado is sugarcane juice reduction, so I made this reducing sugarcane juice to a third of its original volume. So I'm using 30 milliliters of this. This adds a really complex sweetness to my drink. I'm also adding 15 milliliters. Uh, sorry. So 15 more, so that was 30 now. 15 milliliters of rose uh, syrup, rose petals syrup. I made infusing rose petals, one part rose petals, eight parts of water for 72 hours. And 45 of this freshly, uh, two parts freshly muddled strawberry juice and one part freshly muddled watermelon juice. The combination of flavors, watermelon, um, watermelon rose and strawberry creates the lovely flavor of lychee. I'm also adding two drops of this saline solution and this makes my flavors pop out. It's amazing. Now I'm also adding then my coffee and I'm gonna shake this drink to a temperature of seven degrees in order to increase the clarity of the drink and that's the perfect temperature to drink it. Now, yes, come on guys. There we go. I'm gonna strain it just with the ice strainer to maintain the creaminess of the body. Um, go taste notes of this drink are sweet lychee cucumber pink grapefruit with a long lasting black pepper and cascara aftertaste it's a super refreshing drink with a creamy velvety and smooth mouthfeel it's perfect to be served in uh, specialty coffee shops uh, that focus on coffee and good spirits or high-end cocktail bars. So please inhale the aroma as well of fresh cucumber and lychee. Saúde. Saúde means cheers in Portuguese. Just going to preheat my glasses right now. Now, judges, for my second drink, the hot capeta. Capeta means devil in Portuguese, and you'll see in why now in a minute. The first customer that came and ordered his drink came back the next day to say that the drink was the devil. That's the name. And for this drink, I'm gonna be adding 30 milliliters of this beautiful. Uh, Bertha's Revenge Milk Gin. Uh, it has taste notes of sweet oranges and long lasting aftertaste of cloves. So 30 milliliters per each drink. I'm also adding then five milliliters of this beautiful fireball cinnamon whiskey liqueur. And this gives uh, cinnamon and spiciness so a kick to my drink. I'm also adding 10 milliliters of this Guarana uh, cold brew. I made by brewing one part Guarana powder to uh, 10 parts of water. Thank you. Then 10 milliliters of this passion fruit sugar syrup. I made by infusing one part passion fruit, one part sugar, one part water. 
and I'm going to top up with my coffee. So this drink will have taste notes of sweet tangerines, cardamom, and a long lasting aftertaste of pink peppercorn. When you taste this drink, you feel a light, smooth, and silky drink. Now, saúde, saúde. It's been a pleasure to be here today. Thank you so much, judges. Last hear for Philippe Flores, everybody. Whoa. Philippe. Would you like to have a chat, my friend? Come over, come over. Come and be. I want to see what he feels like. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. Where am I? Get me the way. Way. Join our sandwich. <laughs> what a passion, what a moves, what a dance, what a fire. Look I, at I that. love what I'm doing. Well, That's I can I tell, I can tell. You got it in you. Thanks. <laughs> this is amazing. Thank so you. you've obviously put a lot of work into the routine. Uh, yeah, loads of work. Loads the the of correct work. answer is yes. Yeah. A lot of hard work has gone into this. Um, tell us about what inspired the routine. Obviously, you've got the Caipirinha inspiration in there. Yeah, so it's so I'm originally from Brazil, and I love Carnival. Are there any Brazilians here? No. No. I'm here. Anyway. We are here with There's you. <laughs> uh, we can go for a party later on. Don't worry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you bring the dance moves. Yeah, I will. Don't worry about that. <laughs> No, it was an awesome routine. So you had your two drinks. You've got your cold caipirinha inspired fruity cocktail. Was that tied into the coffee? Uh, yeah. The so fruit? I really wanted something that was really, that felt like carnival. Sure. You know, when you drank the coffee, you feel like carnival. It tastes like cognac, ripe mango. It's amazing. So yeah. I had to go for that. I love the sound of the combination. It sounds super fresh. Yeah, so the warm the one with the, with the chili. Was that a chili? Right? Yeah, so chili to make the horns there of the devil. Like you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> nice. So your carnival-inspired theme, you had strawberry, watermelon, and that came together with the coffee uh, to taste like lychee. Yeah. That's an interesting little uh, twist. Yeah. What, what made you bring these ingredients together? Obviously, they're very refreshing. Was it just feel good? Yeah. Feel so good like, like, I started mi like mixing up things, different things, and tasting, them, and we just. When we tasted the combination of strawberry, watermelon, and rose, we just felt like that's lychee. I and we were that. like, this is amazing. Yeah. So we just went for it. Well, that's the beauty of coffee cocktails, right? Yeah. You never know what's going to come out. Super down. exciting. Exciting, exciting. Tell us about the saline, the, the salt dripper. Oh, what was yeah. The, what so, was the impact of this? So that really adds the clarity there. So you can taste the layers, the different layers in the drink, yeah. which is what you want in a complex drink like that. I think uh, seasoning cocktails is just as relevant as seasoning food, right? Oh, yeah. We've got 100%. tools available to us. We've got bitters, we've got salt, you can use pepper, you can use chili. Yeah. All of these things really add value. So the, the guarana powder used for the second drink, that one tastes like cardamom as well, so it is a little bit of mm -hmm. uh, spices into yeah. the drink as well. Really nice. So Bewley's are obviously a very big company. Have they, well, how has the preparation gone with Bewley's? Obviously, you've got access to great coffee. Yeah, access to, to great coffee, access to great training room. I uh, can't complain. Access to the amazing Eisenhower. There he is. There yeah. 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 Amazing yeah. trainer. Really happy to be working with him. Wojciech as well. He was finalist last year in the Barista Championship in the Worlds. So great team, uh, great place, and really happy. It's all about everything. team, right? Good people yeah. around you, good energy. And I can really tell we had it all here yeah. today. And you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you, judges. So much. Wonderful judges. Doing an amazing job. And um, the question I was just about to ask you, are the competitions? Is Coffee and Good Spirits your sole focus, or have you done other things um, before? I've done a couple of latte art, a bit of brewing. I established here and there. I, everything is something that I like learning about, so I try and not stick to one thing, you know? Brilliant. Well, I think we have to wrap it up there. So let's have one big round of applause for Philippe Flores. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Good thank job. You. Thank you so much. And we'll be back very quickly, so do not go anywhere. Thank Don't you very leave much. Us.